Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. Here we are into March already and that means that spring is on the way. And I'm so excited. I've had enough of the white stuff. It's time to have things start to grow and be new and bring on the warmer weather. But more importantly, March also is St. Patrick's Day on the 17th. So I thought today for this tutorial, we will do a shamrock. I started out with painting my rock with flat matte black. Um, so I do this with a paintbrush first and let it dry. And then I put on a thicker coat slightly and I use a sponge to sponge it out. It just makes sure that I get a nice even coverage and then I've got a nice surface to begin uh, putting my design on. I also drew two circles with my compass and I had intentions of using those two circles to uh, do a border afterwards but as I moved along I lost sight of those two lines and I decided to do something different and I'm actually pleased with what I ended up with. I started with a dark green color in the middle and slowly moved my way out to the outside of the circle lightening up as I went along. So it gives that gradation of the shade going from dark to light. Then what I did was I drew another circle on just so I had another guideline to know where the end of my circle was. And now I'm just drawing on, um, very roughly sketching on a uh, shamrock shape, uh, just using basic carts and uh, refining it so that I can um, begin to paint it. I'm using the General's Charcoal Pencil because it's easy to remove off of the paint surface once I've drawn on my sketch and I can remove it by eraser or my preferred method is to use a damp cloth and it just wipes right off and, and doesn't leave any impressions in the paint like pencil sometimes does. Then I wrote the word lucky because that's where I want my banner to go. So I just put that in there as a placeholder so I knew as a visual that's where I wanted it. Then I just outline all of the petals with gold paint and of course gold is associated with shamrocks and lucky and you know the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow type thing. So I'm just outlining all of the petals in gold. I will also be uh, adding some extra detail with gold on the inside of the petals um, but I just really wanted to get the outline done so that I could move on to the next step. And this also um, allows me to get the shapes really set in place so that I could remove the other lines if I needed to and um, refine anything that I needed to do. This is my second shamrock rock. Um, I always do two. I do one off camera and I do one on camera. I do the one off camera just so that I can play around so with some techniques and different styles so that I can pick what I want to uh, show you how to do. Um, if there's anything that you're interested in and you want me to show you, please leave um, a message in the comment section below. Um, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you guys want to see. Um, but definitely leave me a message in the comments below and uh, I'll see what I can do for a future tutorial. Here I'm just outlining that circle that I had drawn back on with the compass. I'm just outlining it in gold. I'm uh, doing my best to keep it as unmessy as possible, but there was some parts where I just had to fill in. So I took my um, my stubby brush there that uh, I use for fine details and blending and things like that. And um, I just grabbed some of the light paint and I went around and filled in all of the black areas that were on the inside of the gold circle. So I do this all the way around and just blend it in uh, to make sure that I've got good coverage and that the green actually comes to the gold and still maintains that circle shape. So I do this knowing that I'm probably going to be dabbing over top of the gold paint and that's okay because I can just go back and use my uh, 
my fine brush and go back in and reapply the gold uh, circle. Um, and I also uh, was okay that I may have been a little bit thick on the outside of the gold line because uh, once it was dry, I could easily go in and fix it up with black paint and uh, make it as thin or as thick as I wanted to. I drew on another circle with the General's charcoal pencil uh, just to outline around the shamrock because I really wanted it to pop. So I am now just sort of coloring in or painting in around the edges of the shamrock and meeting up to that new circle that I had drawn just to sort of frame it because I really want the shamrock to be the vocal point and to really pop. So I just use my uh, small fine brush so that I can get into those little funny pieces there like I just did there and um, move my way around the rock. I find that the black paint really, really makes it shine and pop uh, once that's been resined and it's got that coat of uh, nice shine and gleam on it. And it really frames the shamrock so it really makes it that vocal point. If you like the content of this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Friday, and sometimes I might even throw an extra one. So you'll uh, definitely wanna subscribe so that you don't miss anything. And most definitely hit that bell button that will give you the notifications of every time I do post something. So you'll never miss anything that uh, I've been putting up on YouTube. Now that I'm halfway done painting the black around the shamrock, you can really see it starting to take shape. The idea of it uh, being s framed by this black circle and really making the shamrock itself the vocal point, it, it's such a simple step to do, um, but it's the effect is absolutely amazing. And I like to do this with a lot of my artwork just to give it that extra um, focal point and draws your eye in and it just it looks really, really good. So why is St. Patrick's Day celebrated? Well, I looked it up and it is the day that commemorates St. Patrick and the arrival of Christianity in Ireland. And it celebrates the heritage and the culture of the Irish in general. So basic uh, celebrations include parades, um, wearing green, having green beer. I guess that might be a tradition that's more uh, recent, I suppose. Um, and of course, shamrocks. So uh, in order to celebrate the Irish community, I uh, decided to do um, a shamrock uh, that also symbolizes luck and good fortune. So now I'm just adding some uh, middle veins into the shamrock petals and I'm just using gold paint and just doing a quick little squiggle line I suppose and uh, bringing it out to the edge just to give it that little extra. And now I'm outlining that black circle with gold. Everything is about green and gold in this. I'm being very careful not to let the gold run into the green because it's blended and it's really hard to fix that up. So if I do end up making a mistake, I'd rather it be on the black side of the circle because I can easily go back in with just the uh, pure black that I used and uh, thin out that line and fix it up that I need to. Now, none of my lines are perfect nobody's perfect so I just continue on with what I'm doing and if the lines are a little bit wonky then so be it that's what makes it homemade or hand painted uh, definitely makes it one of a kind so that's one thing that I have definitely tried in the past is duplication and I can't do it I simply cannot I have tried so many times and my brain just takes me on a journey that um, I start off doing something the same and then all of a sudden I'm in this groove and it looks nothing like what <laughs> the other one was. So that's why when I do two rocks, one on camera and one off camera, they are different. And I do put them both up on my Etsy shop. So definitely uh, go take a look 
um, to see what I have available there, I've left a link in the description below. So you can just hop on over there after you have finished watching this video. So now what I'm doing is I took a little bit of white paint and a little bit of the green, the light green paint, and I've mixed them together and I have created the little uh, swoops, I guess, uh, to give the, the petals some light uh, so it's got some reflections on it and uh, put a center dot in the middle of it. Now I'm painting the banner and I really wanted to get some definition in the banner to have it uh, with shadows, so lights and darks and outlining it and all sorts of stuff to give it the dimension that I really wanted it to have. Unfortunately, it didn't end up the way that I had pictured it in my mind. However, I was still impressed with how it did turn out. So I was very happy with it. Um, and you can see that uh, my word lucky is gone now because unfortunately the uh, part of the footage was not recorded because I forgot to press the record button. Um, but I had uh, blended in uh, some more greens of different shades inside the banner. Uh, so the word was actually lost, but I knew where, where it was. Uh, so here I am, I'm just, I'm, I'm painting on with a very fine brush, the word lucky, and I'm putting it in to script. So uh, just doing a, a quick light um, outline of it, and then I can go in and refine it later. Uh, but I just wanted to get the word in there, get it uh, center as possible, and uh, continue working on doing the outlines and putting in the shading and all of the good stuff that makes the rock look so different and unique and definitely one of a kind. You may have noticed that there are white ticks uh, that go around the outside of my design that have magically appeared. Uh, I used the uh, silicone stencil from the Happy Dotting Company to put those little ticks on there so that I have a general idea as to where I want to put my dots to outline the border of the design once I get to that point. So that's why they're there. Um, unfortunately, uh, that part of the footage, again, I forgot to press record. So um, I'm getting better, uh, but just bear with me. Uh, I am new to all of this and I'm doing my best, but uh, I do do really enjoy doing these tutorials for you and uh, hopefully give you some tips and tricks that you may have not have thought of before or maybe a technique that you've always wanted to try. Um, just anything like that. I'm just so happy that I'm able to provide that for you. Uh, if you like it, leave me a, a message in the comments below. I uh, also wanted to let you know that in the description of this video are all of the paint colors that I've used and the brands. So I may not have mentioned uh, exactly what they were, but I do have them listed in there. As well as I also have um, a, a link to the Happy Dotting Company so that you can go to her Etsy shop and check out all of her um, items that she has available for sale. Uh, she makes uh, molds so that you can make your own rocks and I've got some links there to the dotting center. That's where I uh, received my dotting tools from. She's got a lot of templates and a great tutorial list on YouTube that you can follow along with the tools that she has and get the same results as she shows you in her videos. So definitely worth a check out. All those links are in the description below and I invite you to please go and check them out. And if you do decide to purchase anything from the Dotting Center, be sure to use my discount code. It's listed in the description as well and you will get a 10% discount off of your purchase. So it's a win-win for everyone and I certainly hope that you do go and check that out. So as I've been rambling on and talking, uh, the video continues to play and I put a dark green dot on those white ticks that I had initially put on for a guide to know where I wanted to put them on. And then I used the light green 
and a dotting stylus tool to uh, walk some dots around the outside. And now I'm using um, gold uh, to go around the same uh, dots. And now I'm just lifting it up so that I can get around the bottom edge, but I'm putting on the same uh, light green dot uh, to go around each of those. Um, and they actually end up looking like uh, petals and they meet up in the middle there uh, just nicely. And it just has a nice kind of a lacy look or like just to finish it off kind of look uh, with putting the dots around. And I'm just, I'm so impressed with how something so simple of putting dots on uh, in a design on how well it ends up looking. You may have noticed that there's another white line at the bottom and I'm using that as a guideline to know that that is where I want my dots to end. So I'm centering up uh, against the dark green dot and I am dotting around but using that line as my ending point. So I know that's as far as extension I want it to go down. So I continue that all the way around. At the end, I also put a gold dot in the middle of the dark green dots and I have a finished product. So remember, hop on over to my Etsy shop to see this one and the one that I painted off camera and life is what you make it. So get creative. Thank mm -hmm. you.